In our town of McClellanville, we are seeing more and more trash in our waters. We spend our lives on the water, fishing the creek, wakeboarding, or surfing at the beach, so this is concerning us. Also, we know that our community is dependent on the fishing industry, and trash in the water could also impact our economy, so our team is taking action. Our Keep It Clean plan involves trying to combat marine debris in our community from all angles. We have already put out trash bins at two waterfront areas in town. Every Friday, we ride our bikes to empty out the trash bins and pick up any trash on the ground or in the marsh. We'll use the trash we collect to make a piece of art that will show the town how much junk is ending up in our creeks. The rest of our project involves removing plastic before it can enter the environment. In our school, we are banning plastic water bottles and bags. First, we will meet with the administration to get their support. Then we will create a positive reward competition to convince our students to not bring plastic bottles into their, their lunches and start a fun social media challenge to convince families to use their reusable bags. Finally, we'll ask our community businesses to join our ban on plastic by replacing single-use plastic with compostable alternatives in exchange for a Creek's Green Seal sticker. We know ridding McClellanville of plastic is a big challenge, but as Margaret Mead said, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. We go to a small school in a small community on a small creek, but we know if we can start here, it will bring a big change to our oceans.